Hi, I'm Ron Stern, the Global Gumshoe, and the travel columnist for 50 Plus Marketplace News. This week, I want to take you on an adventure to Lucerne, Switzerland. Andre Dumas called Lucerne, located in the geographical center of Switzerland, a pearl in the middle of the world's most beautiful oyster. The town is nestled between the Alps and the Swiss Plateau, right alongside the dark blue waters of Lake Lucerne. Local residents are quite proud of their lake, and it is enjoyed all year long and shared by paddle streamers, sailboats, and water enthusiasts. Lucerne is also the home of the number one attraction in the country, the Swiss Museum of Transportation. From its dramatic entrance featuring hundreds of wheels to its many modes of transportation exhibits, it's not hard to see why this attraction has such a huge appeal. The museum showcases the development of transportation throughout the years, including road, rail, and water, as well as air and space. There are over 3,000 objects to view with many interactive exhibits. One area houses trains of all shapes and sizes, from horse-drawn railways to steam and electric locomotives. Some of these were designed to ascend the tallest mountains in the country, while providing passengers a comfortable and warm environment from which to enjoy the view. The road display actually looks like a warehouse and is packed floor to ceiling with everything from carriages to bicycles to cars, dating from 1860 up to 2005. This particular interactive display involves a robotic system that takes requests from visitors, grabs a selection out of its bay, and lowers it to the floor for closer inspection. The Chapel Bridge is the oldest covered wooden bridge in Europe and one of the most visited sites in the country. Built in the 14th century, the Chapel Bridge was originally part of the defense system of the city of Lucerne. The days are long gone when the city needs to be defended, but the bridge has remained an enduring work of beauty. Next to the bridge and part of the old city wall is the old Wasserturm, or water tower. This medieval brick building has served as a prison, torture chamber, watchtower, and treasury building, and is the most photographed monument in Switzerland. Mark Twain called this sculpture the saddest and most moving piece of rock in the world. He was talking about the Lion of Lucerne, a carving hewn out of natural rock to honor the heroic death of Swiss guardsmen during the French Revolution. And looking at this tragic carving, he can only agree it is one of the most dramatic monuments in the world. The inscription above the lion simply reads, to the fidelity and virtue of the Swiss. As I walked the winding cobblestone streets of Lucerne, I couldn't help but notice tourists pointing their cameras upward to the many ornate and colorful facades adorning restaurants and hotels. Many of these date to medieval times, while others are more recent and have been restored. Most tell stories about events or celebrations that occurred within the city. If you're interested in classic modernist art, then stop by the Rosengart Museum, which houses a private collection of masterpieces assembled by Siegfried Rosengart and his daughter Angela. Picasso, Klee, and Matisse are among the featured 21 artists and their works of varying abstraction. This is one unforgettable side trip that you must take, known as the Golden Round Trip. This includes the boat trip from Lucerne to Alpenstadt and a ride up the world's steepest cogwheel railway to the Pilatus Kulm Peak. The ride to the top of Mount Pilatus is one of the most spectacular you will ever experience. It's hard to imagine that the engineers and workers who built this track were able to construct such a massive feat while overcoming the obstacles presented by the steepness of the mountainous terrain. Switzerland is one of the great tourist attractions of the world. From the blue waters of Lake Lucerne to the heights of Pilatus, this is a diverse destination that, like many of the wines here, needs time for its splendor and riches to be properly explored. Overall, Lucerne is a wonderful place to visit and a great experience that you won't forget. For more travel adventures across the world, Please see my monthly column in 50 Plus Marketplace News or visit my website at globalgumshoe.com or my YouTube channel with the same name. Until then, this is Ron Stern wishing you great travels.